Sometimes we are so close-minded about singleness that we forget Jesus was single. The great apostle Paul was single. In fact, he wrote this in 1 Corinthians 7, I wish everyone were single just as I am. Yet each person has a special gift from God of one kind or another. Do you hear what he's saying? Paul did not view singleness as evidence that God had decided not to bless you or that God took a blessing away from you. Paul viewed singleness as just as much a gift as marriage but a different kind of gift. And Paul could see how the gift of singleness was just right for him because it allowed him to prioritize his relationship with God and his work for God, his ministry. I mean, some single people view the gift of singleness like the gift of socks and underwear at Christmas. Gee, thanks a lot, Mom. Paul said, oh, no. It is much better than that. There is much more blessing in it than that. God can do a lot with your singleness if you let him. Hey, look, there are some parts of my life that I would not want you to emulate, but I did a couple of things during my single young adult years that I recommend for anyone who is single today. First, pray about the future and refuse to resent the present. Don't despise your current circumstances. While I was single in my 20s, I poured my whole life into the church, almost literally. And my son did the same thing during his single adult years in his early 20s. He worked for a church 70 plus hours a week and loved it. He has a family now and he shouldn't do that. But when you're single, that's a great way to live. So look, if you're single, can I just encourage you to get serious about following Jesus, to get serious about being a part of his church? Maybe you'll marry someday. Maybe you won't. Either way, entrust your circumstances to God and stop obsessing over a blessing that God hasn't given you at this time. Accept the blessing that he has given you.